hit that subscribe button and the bell icon beside it to check out our latest videos before anyone else. Hi there guys, I'm Nikhil from Ready Tech and this is the unboxing of Moto G5 S Plus. So this is the box. On the back we have some specs. This phone is available in two colors, lunar grey and blush gold. I have the lunar grey color and that's the one I would suggest to everyone. Now let's start with the unboxing. In India, Moto launched only one variant of G5 S Plus at 16,000 rupees exclusively on Amazon.in. There are no flash sales, so you can buy it whenever you want. So guys, at the top we have the phone. Let me put that aside. Next we have some documentation, a 15 watts turbo charger, earphones, a micro USB charging cable, and finally a SIM card ejector pin. Now let's look at the phone. We have the specs at the top once again. Let me peel it off. So this is how the phone looks, just like the G5 Plus with a better build and dual cameras. Now let's have a physical overview and check out the specs. It has a complete unibody metal design with curved back, curved sides and sharp chamfered edges. On the front it has a 5.5 inch Full HD display protected by a 2.5D Corning Gorilla Glass 3. Above the display we have an 8 megapixel camera with f2.0 aperture, sensors, a dedicated LED flash and the earpiece. Below the display we have a fingerprint scanner which also acts like a capacitor button with gestures. On the left it has a sim card tray that houses a hybrid sim slot and a nano sim slot. So you have to choose between dual sim and SD card. On the right we have the metal buttons for power and volume controls. At the top we have the audio jack. At the bottom we have a mic, micro USB charging port and a speaker. On the back we have the Moto's iconic circular camera module with dual 13 megapixel sensors with f2.0 aperture and dual tone dual LED flash. Following that is a small Moto dimple and some specs. Under the hood it sports a Snapdragon 625 processor with Adreno Fine Out 6 GPU, 4GB RAM and 64GB of internal storage. Out of the box we get around 2.8GB of free RAM and 52GB of internal storage for user apps and user data. Out of the box it's running Android 7.1.1 and it will get the Android Oreo update soon. It also comes with all the Moto actions like chop to toggle, flip to camera, Moto display and night mode. There is no bloatware but there are a lot of apps from Google and Microsoft that you might not use at all. Now all this is powered by a 3000mAh non-removable battery. It has all the sensors including gyroscope, FM radio, fingerprint scanner, notification LED and NFC but it is missing compass. It has dual sim support along with OLTE, so Geo works right out of the box. This is the camera UI, looks like the regular motor phone, but with the additional portrait mode and pro mode for the front camera. Now coming to my initial impressions, it looks a lot like the Moto G5 Plus, but a little more premium. Compared to G5 Plus, this phone felt huge, probably because of bigger screen. Build is solid, but the sharp chamfered edges annoy me. While setting up the phone, phone reached a maximum of 43 degrees. It usually happens while installing apps, so you don't need to worry about that. Cameras are the highlights of this phone and from initial impressions, they do look better than the G5 Plus. For a motor phone that's priced 16,000 rupees, everything seems good enough. It has one of the best processors, at least in terms of power efficiency, good display, great cameras, latest updates, stock Android and fast charging. I still wish they reduced the price but as of now, I don't have any complaints. Compared to G5 Plus, you are getting a bigger display, better cameras, better build and 64GB of internal storage. But it is missing the dedicated SD card slot. So guys, if you are planning to buy this phone, wait till September 5th. That's when Xiaomi will probably launch Mi 5X and it might be better than this phone. I'll be posting camera review, complete review and some speed tests. So stay tuned for that. By the way guys, if you decide to buy this phone, use the link in the description. It helps the channel. So guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel to see more cool videos on tech. I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech signing off. Have a nice day.